Hi, this video is part two of a series covering the use of TCAN's eye control software for collecting kinetic measurements from microplates. In this example, we'll be covering the use of what's called wellwise kinetics. That is a process where the kinetic on one well is measured and completed before the reader moves on to collect kinetics from subsequent wells. Our first step will be to select a plate definition that matches the plate we intend to use. For this example, I'm going to pick a Griner flat transparent plate. The next step is to select the wells that we want to measure. Then, under the labware setting, grab and deposit a well strip here in the screen. From there, grab the kinetic cycle strip and place it beneath the well strip. Then, depending on how you're going to enact the kinetic, you can grab various things like measurements or actions or some other miscellaneous steps but for right now we're just going to grab an absorbance step and place it in the screen here. We'll type in some settings like 450 and 3 flashes. We're also going to add some additional cycles here of 25. If executed right now this kinetic script would begin by measuring 25 readings at 450 on well A1 and then progress out across the plate. It would then drop down and measure B12 and then sweep back across to B1. We would get individual kinetic curves for each of the wells. If you would like to employ the use of injectors, that is accomplished by inserting a step such as this one called kinetic condition. And let's just say that for the first three readings of the 25 readings we're going to collect a background reading and then after that to implement injectors with wellwise strips we're going to use what's called an injection step and we're going to define a volume to inject and a speed of the injectors here we're using the maximum microliters per second to get good mixing and then we could also ask for a shaking step when that's completed. So now, once the reader gets to step three, it will have collected a third absorbance reading, then it will inject, and then it will shake for an amount of time here, and then it will go on to complete the remaining 25 steps in the kinetic. It's worth noting again, if we were to compress down or collapse down all these steps, we will collapse all Let's look at the indentation again so we can understand the flow or logic of what is happening. So we have a plate and then we are measuring part of that plate and then we're going to process wellwise a kinetic cycle and that kinetic cycle has these steps nested within it all the way down to here. This is a secondary nesting so we have 25 cycles reading absorbance only when we get to cycle number three will it perform these two steps and then once those are completed it'll go back to just measuring this kinetic absorbance measurement until the end. If you'd like the plate to come out when it's completely finished you can place this step here but as the software is warning us it doesn't like that this was in within a well strip so we want to right click on this and release it and keep releasing it until it's completely unnested from the well wise processing. Now we can see that this step is in line with the well strip and therefore the reader's happy and we could go on to start this measurement. If you have other questions about this process, please contact TCAN's technical support and thank you.